Okay, here we are. Let's we'll see. There's a trolling motor deck. Excuse my crummy uh, aluminum uh, trim around the trolling motor deck, but it's functional. And uh, I don't know why I have such a hard time cutting angles, but I do. <laughs> Uh, you can you can do a much better job than this. And this is I use sixteenth uh, inch, uh, two inch aluminum angle to do this to kind of cover up any little mistakes in the deck that I made trying to get it exactly to fit the front nose of the of the boat. And it's riveted on down here, and it'll have eight screws in it. To hold it on, you remove the eight screws, unplug the the uh, the running light, the uh, depth finder on the front, and take the trolling motor out of the trolling motor clamp for the trolling motor mount, and fold the fold the trolling motor mount up and just pull the deck out. Um, pretty nifty. And then we have, of course you can see I got one of the hatches open. We have three hatches. We got this one. Let me reach over here. I'll open this one up. This little one in front is for um, stuff like my whistle and the horn and uh, little odds and ends like that and little mushroom anchor and the little cubby hole there is from a landing rope um, let's see let me close this. this one's for the battery battery goes in here and you can get some little odds and ends in there but nothing really really big but that's okay I'm not unhappy with that. This is for the, let's see if that'll sit up. This is the live well, which is actually already made into the boat. It's, um, of course, this is a low uh, 1440 modified. So, so there's our, our little live well. And I had to raise that um, seat pedestal just a little bit. That's a that's a seat for when the boat is underway and running, um, just so the seat would miss the side of the boat. That turned out okay. That's my front fishing seat uh, pedestal mount. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah, we carpeted. We got this little carpeted area down here. I chose not to do the sides. Um, gee, I don't know why. <laughs> I could have, but I didn't. <laughs> um, and then the, uh, the rear, that's this one in the center is where I sit to operate the boat on the way and then that's for second person to take a back seat and fish from. And of course all of we have uh, seat poles and seats to go on. Not picture here. And let me get around here a little bit. Oh, there's the pond. That's where the frogs live. And I hope I was able to kind of give you all some ideas now. All of these decks come out. They're just, they're laying in here but they're in there secure. Believe me, the way the front um, trolling motor deck, way up there in the front, is wedged in on top of the casting deck. And then the casting deck is wedged in to the, um, it's tightly fitted into the, um, the supports, the aluminum supports that you saw earlier. And then, as you can see right there, the little rib on the boat. Let's see if I can get up there a little bit. That little rib, the, the deck 
lip that goes down sits just in front of that nice tight fit on both sides so it won't be sliding around or anything like that and it wouldn't anyway because of the way that the way that the uh, hatches fit into the uh, bracing and the same thing on the back um, that little lip that goes down that covers that ugly seat <laughs> kind of sits behind those ribs that you see and it fits down nicely on the on the floor deck and again we've already talked about the hole I'm not gonna I chose not to put a, a, um, a lid there I'm just gonna leave that open gas tank goes in there the um, bilge pump goes in there and then way back there whoa, you can see that little hole that's for my anchor light in case I need it I went online and checked with Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries and I have to have these things so um, I was going to make it a day boat but no can do so um, that's pretty much it for now. Again, we'll go back over my <laughs> my half crummy <laughs> uh, doggone uh, frame around it. But it's functional. It'll work. It's cleaned up real good so that it won't catch and cut and all that kind of thing. So there we go. Oh, well, I am going to take and put eight screws, uh, two in each each piece on the corners to hold the uh, to hold the aluminum down nice and tight against it. So you have to remove eight screws. Uh, again unplug the accessories in the trolling motor and then just slide that that piece of deck out over top of this one and then uh, then you pull this deck out the rear deck and the last to come out is the floor deck. And that's about it for now.